James Cracknell has recalled the horrific moment he was gassed on Sass, Who Dares Wins. Celebrity Sass, Who Dares Wins star James Cracknell, 49, recalled the sensation of being gassed during one of the program's tough challenges. The athlete described feeling like he was burning, and experiencing an intense cough. He said, you feel like you're burning. You go into it thinking it'll be fine. You'll have plenty of time to do what you need to do. And then as you start to burn, and then this is where coming out of it you realize how special these guys are. They can make snap decisions in the harshest of environments. I was just so confused. You're given instructions on what to do but as soon as you get in there and take the mask off, the gas is totally disorientating and then instinct kind of kicks in. The double gold Olympic medalist explained that, during the intense moments, he failed to listen to the instructions. He added, so for me, years of flying on planes, you kind of remember how they always tell you to put your own mask on before helping other people. So that kicked in and I wasted time by not listening and remembering the instructions they'd given us. It was horrible. When you get out you're coughing your guts out, your eyes are weeping, it's horrific. James went on to describe his relationship with fellow contestants, who are also used to being in the media spotlight. He said people participating in the show are laid bare, and some might get a real shock when asked to perform some of the extreme challenges. The Olympian said, I think everyone got on really well. I'd met Shanae's before, I knew Kieran, but only watching him on TV. Same with Ulrika, I grew up watching her do the weather. So, those were the only people I had some sort of connection with. But everyone is laid bare in every way when you're there. I think it's slightly harder for people who haven't done physical stuff or been uncomfortable. It's like, okay, I haven't prepared for this, it is a real shock. And the other thing is that if you pick up injuries, yes, you handle it differently from a sporting perspective than a military perspective, but you still get injured and cope with it.